So if you like gaming on a Mac, then this is probably the biggest breakthrough that's happened so far. There are now 34 Steam games that run through Proton on Asahi Linux on a Mac. These include plenty of basic 2D games, but the 3D graphics drivers are now developed enough to run several advanced 3D titles. And yes, it can run Crisis, but don't expect it to be perfect. It's still in very early development. So if you didn't already know, Asahi Linux is a project aiming to get Linux working on the ARM64 Mac chip. I've made videos about Asahi Linux in the past, and the progress has been slow but steady. For just over a year, you've been able to go ahead and download Asahi Linux and install it on your M1 or M2 Apple Silicon Mac yourself. And the amount of features that do work is pretty astounding, especially considering that the team are getting no outside support from Apple, and they're having to reverse engineer all of the drivers themselves. However, in the last few days, there's been a pretty huge breakthrough if you're interested in gaming at all. And that's because Lena, who is one of the GPU engineers, has finally got Proton to work on Asahi Linux. So if you're not already familiar, Proton is the translation layer which allows Windows games to run great on SteamOS on the Steam Deck. And now that Proton is working on a Mac, this means that we're no longer limited to macOS's small library of compatible games. We now potentially have access to virtually the entire Windows gaming library all running through Proton. So today we're going to be looking at how this remarkable progress was achieved, what games now work through Proton on Asahi Linux, how you'll be able to test this out yourself, and also how to support one of the most important projects for Mac gaming. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please hit the subscribe button and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So in order to get Proton working on Asahi Linux on a Mac, many challenges had to be overcome. I'm going to try and give a simplified overview of what's happened. However, bear in mind that I'm not a software engineer, nor am I a Linux expert. So the first breakthrough is the further development of the graphics API used on Asahi Linux. Their end goal is to implement a Vulkan driver, and a stepping stone towards this is the development of OpenGL 3.x. And while support is not fully complete, it is more than enough to run many games. Another challenge is getting x86 applications working on Asahi Linux. So on the macOS side, if you want to run an x86 Intel application on a Mac, you need something called Rosetta 2. This translates the Intel binary on the fly so that it works well on the ARM64 chip. Now I know it's technically possible to get Rosetta working on Linux on a Mac. However, it's not officially licensed to be used bare metal. There is the alternate project which could be used called Box86. However, both Rosetta and Box86 don't support 32-bit applications. This would mean that a whole bunch of 32-bit games wouldn't work, and also the Steam client on Windows and Linux remains 32-bit only. So therefore, the team have selected an x86 emulator called FEX, which is open source. However, in order to get this to work on Apple Silicon Macs, they would have to implement 4K page support. Now, macOS and Asahi Linux so far both use 16 K page support. And some modification has had to be done to get the GPU drivers to work with 4K support. However, it looks like the experimentation has all paid off. So 4K page support, the addition of Proton, and all the developments of OpenGL on Asahi Linux have resulted in a brand new way of playing Windows games on Apple Silicon hardware. And there are now 34 different Steam titles that work bare metal. And really, this is just the beginning. Once Vulkan support is fully implemented, then we have the potential of getting the same number of games that run on, say, something like the Steam Deck, which runs SteamOS and uses Proton. And really, Proton has got all of the weight of Valve's development behind it. It really opens up the vast number of games that, say, something like the Steam Deck can run. Not only would this open up the ability to play DirectX 12 titles, for example, games like Hogwarts Legacy, Elden Ring, but there are also lots of Proton-specific fixes. So, for example, the game Apex Legends doesn't run on a Mac through Wine or Crossover due to easy anti-cheat. However, on the Steam Deck, there isn't this particular issue. That's because some games running Proton have an exception for this anti-cheat. So really the gist of this video is that Proton on Asahi Linux is a really exciting project. Unfortunately, the latest experimental features which allow Proton to work are not yet available to the public, but once they are, I'll be sure to make a tutorial video all about it. Once the Vulkan driver has fully matured and the rest of the features on Asahi Linux have been implemented, then really Proton and Asahi Linux could represent the future of Mac gaming. So I really do encourage you to support this open open source project, there's definitely ways that you can contribute. Make sure to check out Asahi Lina's YouTube channel where she streams her development work. And also you can contribute financially through GitHub sponsors and also the Asahi Linux Patreon page as well. 
So anyway, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the Asahi Linux team come up with next. Once the updated drivers get a public release, I'm going to be sure to make a tutorial video on how to get all of these games working on your Apple Silicon Mac. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.